You're a sheriff in um, Blair County, Pennsylvania, and you've come out to endorse President Trump, right? Absolutely. Why is that? Strong support. Uh, you take a look at what's going on across our nation, where the president's position has been, been behind us. Uh, he hasn't wavered from that at all. And quite honestly, moving forward, uh, my fear is that, that just that, if, if he's not re-elected, where are we going to go from here? It's very clear from other camps that, that the support's not there uh, where we need it to be. Quite honestly, that's, that's the number one thing, support for our law enforcement. When you look at um, a lot of the recent unrest and riots that have broken out in cities across the nation, um, what do you see as the main problem with that? Why, why is it not dying down? Our elected officials. Honestly, um, I, I think if our, if our elected officials in those communities accepted the help or would come to the table with more open mind, uh, you, you see other communities that have, and it, gets, and it stopped. The offer's there. There's options there to try and put, put this to rest, and, and they're not taking advantage of it. So your advice to, to Portland, Seattle, um, a lot of the um, areas that have been hit hardest is just to accept the president's help, and that's your advice? Absolutely. Have a discussion with the president. Uh, he's already made his offer. If, if you're not liking the full extent of what he's offering, come to a compromise, but you got to do something. You, you can't allow your communities to continue that kind of turmoil. Uh, you just can't. And the president has given options on how to fix it, how to stop it, and then very swiftly. And at this point, it just went on this long, it needs to be done. Uh, what do you see as the future of law enforcement if Donald Trump, in America, if Donald Trump is not elected? I see a profession that's going to be very difficult to have replacements. You know, I'm, I'm one of the old guys in this industry. So uh, as we have our replacements and people that have interest in the career, you're going to lose it. You're already seeing it. You're seeing it now just because of some of the areas and how they're dealing with things. Um, I, I see that you're going to have more and more difficulty finding men and women who have that draw and that desire to want to do this job just because of the backlash that it brings. Uh, I also see uh, communities that are going to have difficulty on their funding because one of the first choices it seems to be that you want to go to is your public safety. So when you want to start cutting, that's your first area, realizing you need your public safety there to keep your community safe. If you defund the police, if you start eliminating your budgets, scrutinizing them too far down, you have nobody there to protect your communities.